What's going on? GZ Army here. Mr. AGZ bringing you a Pokemon X and Y multi battle this time. This time, my partner Zips. Look at our pokes. We're looking good against Daniel and Wolf. Daniel's running with Alakazam, Infernape, and Greninja. Wolf is running with Garchomp, Charizard, and Greninja as well. So we've got the double Greninjas on that side. Very curious, very interesting set here. You see our pokes over here on this side. Let's just go ahead and go straight into it. Really looking forward to it. I mean, should be a good game, right? 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 Well, we'll find out, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wolf and Daniel issue a challenge, and yes, you just read that. Double Greninja starting off. Look at that. One is a little darker than the other. I don't know why. Maybe he's got a sun hit. I don't know. Anyways, we're sending in Walrein and Talonflame to begin here. I'm going to go ahead and run Brave Bird. I figure I would just go ahead and take out one poke at least. At least one poke, right? Here we go. Brave Bird the Greninja. Greninja done and out. Don't have to worry about him. That was fast. Good to go. Now, what's going to happen here? Damage by the recoil, of course. Here comes Power Up Punch, question mark. Okay, so a physical set Greninja. Gets that Power Up Punch off. And, yeah, Walrein's going to go ahead and use Stockpile. So, Walrein is going to go ahead and get buffed up. He's going to be able to take a few more attacks here. In comes Alakazam. Now, Alakazam could be deadly if you leave him out. So, um, he's going to Mega Evolve. And I really don't want to deal with him or any of his shenanigans that he may pull off. So, look at him with those five spoons. So, what am I going to do? Well, I am going to actually going to go ahead and watch him run that trace on Thick Fat. But I'm going to go ahead and just Bray Bird him. You know, Bray Bird everything. It always works, right? Right? I like to think it does. It certainly does a lot of damage anyways. Enough to take out this Alakazam. So, down goes Alakazam. And, yeah. Going to get a little bit more recoil damage here, which is very unfortunate. Here comes another power-up punch on this Walrein who's going to just eat that up and yeah so Greninja is looking very very strong now here comes a Frost Breath on this Greninja I'm actually very surprised that he didn't run Stockpile again gets a little bit of damage there gets that crit Infernape comes out now so Infernape is a fighting fire type and I don't want to deal with him either so here comes another Brave Bird <laughs> so we're Brave Birding one side of the field enough to take out one side of the field so down goes um, one whole side of the field <laughs> now this time we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of damage from the recoil and he's going to go ahead and use power punch again on the wall ring and take him down 63 HP he's going to go ahead and get some buffs and wall is going to go ahead and run that frost breath but mess now at this point I'm going to go ahead and run roost I figured well you know what we can see if my town flame will survive I don't know I'm surprised he hasn't attacked me yet and then he runs surf as soon as I think that he runs surf that's going to go ahead and take me out and do a little bit of damage to Walrein. So, unfortunately, it was a crit. Not that it mattered on my Talonflame. So, I'm going to go ahead and send in... Well, I'm going to watch this Frost Breath attack first. It's going to do a nice little chunk, but not enough to take it out. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and send in Gyarados now. Now, Gyarados is going to be able to resist Greninja's attacks just because of who I am. He's going to go ahead and try to run Power Up Punch again. It's not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and get this Dragon Dance off. Dragon Dance, getting that attack raise and speed raise. Here comes Frost Breath again from the Wall Rain. And this time it connects. Now, does it take him out? It does. It does take out the Greninja this time. So, Greninja down and out. Trying to figure out who's coming out next. It is Fuego. Fuego the Charizard. So, I've got a few options to do here. What do I want to attack with? Well, first of all, he's Mega Evolving the Charizard X, the Dragon Fire type. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and fortunately run just Stone Edge. And Stone Edge is a beast! Takes out that Fuego in one shot. Down goes Charizard X, which very much surprised me. It really did. I didn't expect I'd be able to take it down in one shot. Get the Moxie boost, so my attack raises even more. And out comes Garchomp. So Garchomp's in here. I'm very worried. Do I want to actually Mega Evolve or not? I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve this time. I'm just worried that he may just punch me with like a Dragon Claw and take me out. But, you know what? With no risk, there's no reward. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get that Mold Breaker off. Not that it's going to matter. And run Waterfall. See how much damage Waterfall does on this Garchomp! Takes it out. There we go. There we go. A big surprise there. Gyarados is able to take out that guy in one shot. And that's going to be a good game. So do me a favor, guys. Leave a like and share the stream or share the battle video with everybody else you know. Wolf, Daniel, Zips. I mean, these guys are fantastic. Let everybody know that these guys got in a battle and give them some props, guys. It was a fun battle. All right. Until next time, GZ Army. Catch them all.